What is good, Boss Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Now, before we kick this thing off, I wanted to first off say thank you so much for all the support today. We officially hit 700,000 subscribers. Like, it's still insane to me. Like, sometimes I look at it and I never thought we could get this far from the day that I created my channel. So, it's all thanks to you guys. I just want to say thank you so much. Let's get right into this video i'm showing you my lineup to keep you guys updated with how it looked last time out no big changes but today madden has dropped two brand new legends lawrence taylor and ladanian tomlinson easily the best running back in the game right now if not the best then he has to be like top three look at those stats Now guys, obviously today I'm going to try to get him on my team. If we can't do it through packs, then I'm going to go out there and buy him. Yes, that is a spoiler alert. We will have a brand new running back in this episode. So I have nine legendary packs. Let's go ahead and see what type of items we are going to get out of this. As we see our first red flash here, I wanted to mention that yesterday I had one of the biggest pack openings on my channel. It featured like the most expensive pack in madden if you did miss it i'll make sure to leave a link in the description that was crazy because there was a pack that costed 1.2 million coins like it was insane but we did get a lot of crazy stuff out of it so like i said if you did miss it be sure to check the description look at this we already see two red flashes in the beginning of this pack. One was a collectible. The other one was Darius Slate. Can we get any more elites out of this? Yes, we do. It's another collectible and another player here featuring Russell Wilson. So this legendary pack was definitely worth it. Whenever you get two elite players and a bald-headed guy, you are winning in life. Can we have the same luck here on the next pack? We're about to find out. Come on. Give us an LT. Wait, I just realized they're both LT. Lawrence Taylor and Ladanian Thomason. I know for a fact they did that on purpose. You guys see back-to-back -back collectibles. We actually do get a Lawrence Taylor. That has to go for a lot. A Sean Lee. Come on. What is this? Are you kidding me? I feel like every time I'm opening up legendary packs, the elites are always base. I honestly don't like legendary packs, man. I don't know. Obviously, as you guys see, we did not pull any of the LTs, but I am going to start this episode off by making an upgrade at the cornerback spot. Sam Madison, I hate to see him go because the guy absolutely balled out on my team. But if you did watch yesterday's upload, the pack opening on my channel, we pulled ourselves a cornerback who's a motivator. Now, this corner was a man coverage motivator, which means your entire team will get a plus two boost in a man coverage attribute part of his stats. The guy that I'm talking about is David Emerson. I decided to replace Sam Madison for David Emerson. Now, at first I had him at cornerback number two, but then I decided to put him in the slot. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but Night Train Lane went from 96 to 97, so I thought this move was very fitting for our team. Next up, Amon Green will be shipped out, and do I even have to mention who will be replacing him? First things first, let's go ahead and sell Green. Currently, I was kind of shocked with his price. You know, at first, he was going for around 600k, but right now, his price has dropped to 300. Maybe it's because of this guy right here. 94 Ladanian Thomason is officially on our team. For those wondering, Ezekiel Elliott is still running back number two on my team. And obviously, our starter will be Ladanian Thomason. Not only am I making him the starter of this team, but I also went out of my way to purchase the Thursday night Chargers uniform. I have the Chargers home jersey and the Chargers away jersey, the Chargers stadium. That's my offensive defensive playbook because a lot of people have been asking me, so there you have it. Let's go ahead and continue our regular season week number three. We are still undefeated. Can it continue? Let's find out. 
obviously we're gonna go to LT for as many plays as possible and I'm not gonna lie man these Chargers uniforms are so fresh my favorite part is obviously the face mask the yellow face mask is so nice looking but oh we just threw a pick six right here to start things off not what I visioned for LT's debut oh my god another one here your boy's garbage, man. Your boy's trash. Two back-to-back -back costly turnovers, but we get it right back. Can we acknowledge that hit by Khalil Mack? We needed that from our defense because as you guys see right here, we have nothing going on offense. Now, I noticed my opponent was picking the same play on defense. It was a certain cover three that was leaving one particular guy wide open, and that is Jerry Rice. So I did a great job of dissecting my opponent's defense, but this happens. After all that, we're still down 7-6, to six, but the way our defense is playing right now, I'm very confident that we'll be up on the scoreboard very shortly. On second and seven, Steve McNair gets hit. Who was that? I think that was... Joey Bosa in the Chargers uniform. Bobby Wagner was right there to recover the fumble. And just like that, we have an opportunity here to take the lead. And I cannot be any more thankful to my defense, man. It was all because of them. I had such a horrible start in this game. And right now, we are right back in it. Oh, that could have been a pick. My opponent is fighting back. He calls a second timeout as we move forward with 47 seconds remaining. He gets stopped short. So now a big decision. He actually decides to go for it. McNair throws it in double coverage though. So that is turnover. Instead of him getting three, he comes out with zero. Now I'm trying to score here. Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh man, this game has been so rough. I still have two timeouts, and with that big catch there by Jerry Rice, I think we could do something here. On the Hail Mary. Brady taking a shot deep, and it's Randy Moss. How many times did they do that on the Patriots? What a beautiful connection from Tom Brady to Randy Moss, but as you guys saw on the last play, my opponent on third down came up short. He actually decided to punt the ball. So it's 14 and 19 with 33 seconds remaining. I try to catch him off guard here. Going with a screenplay to LT. He's showing off so much here. What a spin move. We got to get him his first touchdown, man. We have to get LT his first touchdown on my team. Can it be here on this play? Ludanian Tomlinson. How do you like that? The score now is 26 to 14. And all of a sudden, the momentum has completely shifted look at this sean taylor with the one-handed interception using his helmet for assistance what a pick that was i'm gonna take over here once again tom brady going to rainy moss give this guy so much credit man rainy has played a heck of a game again lt using his speed oh wow what a hit okay all right on a toss play, Ladanian Thomason gets his second touchdown here in his debut. Hey, man, I just want to say major respect to my opponent. He actually stuck around, man. Whenever people don't quit and stick around like that to me, you have like a special place in my heart. His quarterback goes down for another sack. J.J. Watt this time is for a safety, and this game is officially over. Final score, 41-14. to 14. But more importantly, we remain undefeated in this very young season. 3-0 so far. This team continues to impress me day by day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope you guys enjoyed the upgrades as well. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Once again, man, thank you so much for all your support. We are now officially 700K stronger. Boss Nation, continue being amazing people. It's your boy, to the Boss. I am signing out. And some room to maneuver. And he's in for a Charger touchdown.